Photosynthesis. Let's learn about photosynthesis. Plants make their food with the help of many things. Plants get their raw material for photosynthesis from the soil, the air, and the sun. Oh, look! It started raining. When it rains, water gets absorbed into the soil. The plants take in the water from the soil through its roots. In the roots, there are tubes, which are called the xylem and the phloem. The xylem lies towards the interior part of the root, whereas the phloem lies towards the exterior part of the root. These tubes help in bringing water and minerals from the soil to its leaves. Leaves breathe in carbon dioxide from tiny pores, which are called stomata, which are on the underside of the leaf. The stomatas are like the windows in the room for plants because it allows air to get in. And here comes the sun, one more important factor for photosynthesis. So, now we know plants need three things for photosynthesis carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight. Now the process will start. Most of the action takes place in the leaves of the plant. If we cut a leaf and observe it under a microscope, we see that right below the outer layer of cells, there is a layer of soft, elongated cells called mesophyll cells. Inside the mesophyll cells, we see tiny notes, which are called chloroplast. Chloroplast contains a special chemical called chlorophyll. It is chlorophyll which colors the leaves green. Chlorophyll absorbs red and blue light from the sunlight that falls on leaves. Therefore, the light reflected by the leaves is diminished in red and blue and appears green. When the light energy from the sun is captured by the chloroplast, it's stored in stalks called a granum, in which is a thylakoid membrane. In these membranes, the chemical reaction of photosynthesis takes place. So, remember, carbon dioxide plus water plus sun gives you glucose plus oxygen. The glucose, or sugar, is the food which the plant has made for itself and is distributed to all parts of the body. And oxygen is a waste gas, which the plants breathe out. People and animals use this very oxygen to breathe and continue living. We, in turn, exhale the carbon dioxide needed by plants, and the cycle continues. Subscribe to us for more cool videos.